Um, yes, I'm very supportive of what was announced today. I think that, that we should look to make a distinction between being, you know, very compassionate and generous when it comes to genuine refugees who are fleeing areas where they're being persecuted or, or at risk of persecution, but clearly those who arrive here illegally from another safe European country, you know, that is something very different. Uh, and I think that we've got to create a deterrent when it comes to those who are looking to enter this country illegally. I think that does that through the off offshore processing option. Yes, and, uh, another deterrent would be sending people to uh, a nation which has questionable human rights record. Well, people say that, but of course, you know, the UN and the European Union currently settle refugees in, in Rwanda. Um, I, I, there's, no, there's no reason, that um, I don't believe there's any reason why we should be concerned about the welfare of those who are going to be um, potentially transferred to Rwanda. I, I, I don't really know where that's come well, from. Well, it came from uh, our government, your party, calling out Rwanda on their human rights and how they treat people. Um, there's no reason for me to believe that any of these individuals would be unsafe in Rwanda. Uh, this is something which has been overseen by, by the Australian who, who was behind what's also been described as inhumane in terms of their, the yeah. way they treat um, asylum seekers there. Uh, and in an exclusive report for The Guardian in 2016, they looked through 2,000 leaked documents showing that the detentions that they were using to send migrants to other nations, another island, they found details of assault, abuse and self-harm. Well, of course, I haven't, I haven't heard about this Guardian um, investigation into what was happening there. I mean, interesting that it was Guardian who, who looked into that. Um, I, I think it, what, was, what is clear with, Austra with Australia is, is that they had a real problem uh, with illegal immigration in Australia. They, they, they went down the route of offshore processing. Um, it was very popular with large sections of the Australian public, which is actually why the Liberal Party kept on getting re-elected. Um, and, and today, I mean, they, they haven't got anywhere near the same level of problem with illegal immigration as they had back then. So, frankly, it worked. And also, the number of people, you know, and, and you know, one of the things to point out about these unsafe, uh, illegal crossings is that they're incredibly unsafe uh, and, you know, there is always a risk that human lives will be lost, as they have been in the English Channel and as they were also off the coast of Australia. Uh, I have to pick you up on your description or how you describe those crossings. They're not necessarily illegal. In fact, two-thirds of those who do cross are found to have got here legally. So what you're doing, and in fact, Boris Johnson has said that he is expecting uh, to have a legal fight against this because this potentially could be what's illegal. Um, it, 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 yes, I think he... I did hear the Prime Minister say that, and that would be a, a legal battle we fight and we will win. Immigration, definitely a huge issue uh, for the British public, but also the British public are concerned about how people are treated, humanely treated. Do you really think, I ask again, this process of sending people to a nation which has a questionable human rights history record, do you think this is the way to deal with immigrants? You know, the message should be made clear uh, to those who are, who are in France which, of course, is a safe European country, but, it, it, you know, but, it, but if they do attempt uh, the illegal crossing into the UK, uh, then they do risk being deported to Rwanda. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's probably something that they ought to think about because, of course, Rwanda is safe, but it might be that they might want to reconsider uh, whether they want to apply for asylum in France, which, of course, is a safe European country. OK, Tom Hunt, good talking to you. Thank you.